Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. Last Tuesday, the opposition took to the streets to protest against the current issues faced by the people. Or at least, that's what they say they were going to do. Okay, so let's break this down. Is it the right of the uh, opposition to protest, even though this crisis is not something that this government created and is just reacting to global events? Absolutely, yes. It's their God-given right to protest. So if they are protesting, what should they ask for? Sort out the economic crisis, solve the distribution delays, solve the debt matter, find the dollars. Also, if they really want to be productive for the country and give a damn about the people, they could come up with several economic proposals to solve this mess. But what did they do and say? <laughs> the problem with this is very daring when these goons claim that they will sort out the economic matter and provide solutions to a crisis, they need to showcase a track record of stellar performance in the past, right? Look at these jokers. Despite speaking as if they were never in power, these clowns were the ones running the nation from 2015 to 2019, a time period that never we never experienced any global issue whatsoever. Yes, this guy who calls himself an economic guru, he was the State Minister of National Policies and Economic Affairs. And this clown was the State Minister of Finance. So let's take a look at their fantastic, absolutely stellar, golden brains hard at work. <laughs> Sri Lanka Mahabanku Varta Anuva, the Das Dahatavarshi, November Tisvena Dinata Gavi to Mulunai Shesha, Rupia Triliana, Bahai Dashumatuna Baba de Queneva. The business environment in Sri Lanka has not been very uh, positive for quite a long time. Uh, the business community has not been uh, particularly comfortable with this uh, coalition government. Business sentiment has been very weak. Investment has not been particularly strong in terms of private investment. And what about the guy who wants to lead this nation, replace the current president? Because if he comes to power, oil is going to ooze from the ground, perhaps from golfers. Dollars are going to rain from the sky and every person in this country is going to be flourishing in wealth. So how was the wannabe president's track record when he was in power? <laughs> Our neighbors, 
What I need to tell is that stop believing a bunch of clowns who have a proven track record of ruining a good thing. Instead, try to be patient enough to trust a group who've delivered time and time after for this nation. Yes, the cues are irritating, uncomfortable, annoying and frustrating. The power cuts are fudged up. But buddy, just because we live on an island doesn't mean global events do doesn't affect us. It does. And understanding it and acting rationally is the only way forward. However, suppose this government fails to respond to these clowns and take control of the narrative in that case this country will indeed be theirs again. The opposition came to the golf airs and screamed, Gota, go home. And in the end, Gota went back to work and the opposition went home. All right, uh, with me now is the State Minister of Fisheries, Kanchan Vijayasekhar. Thank you very much, Minister, for your time. I appreciate it. So, back when the good governance joke was in power, the Mahinda Sulanga was the, the fact that toppled that joke of a government. Now, it seems like the tables have turned. Have you guys forgotten the people's pain because we are seeing lackluster approach by this government in order to solve the issue? Is that why the opposition is gaining traction? Uh, no, of course, we haven't forgotten why we were elected into power. Uh, of course, we have to understand that there is a, a global crisis and uh, we are also facing consequences of that. Uh, and of course, we do apologize and regret the fact that we have not been able to manage the supply chains appropriately. And we will make sure that uh, the supply chains are back in order. Uh, people will have uninterrupted uh, electricity, gas, diesel, other fuel, and uh, we would make things uh, right for them. I understand uh, that Minister, now the opposition leader wants an immediate presidential election. He screamed at, at the, the recent protest. Has this government come to a point where you can't solve the problems? Have you run out of solutions? Uh, no, I, I think going by uh, the past experience as well, uh, even President Rajapaksa uh, faced so many uh, of those uh, obstacles, challenges, but uh, we never ran away from those challenges. And I'm sure President Gautabi Rajapaksa uh, has faced similar challenges before uh, and is prepared to face any of the challenges and we will see out the, uh, the next three years and also um, the people will have the right to uh, decide who they want to elect in the next election. So there is no uh, election that will be held uh, before the next three years. Well, let's hope for the best. All right, State Minister of Fisheries, Kanchan Vichyasekara, thank you very much, sir. Time for another short commercial break. On the other side, I want to know why China is so silent in all this mess. Be right back.